stadium. What I did was just little colors and stuff. We did here, this part here. So what I'm going to do is, in the area of down here, I'm going to put just a little bit of darkness. I'm going to use my knife for that. I'm just going to take a little black, a little green. Maybe just a little bit of Andyke Brown. And we're going to pick it up on the knife. And I'm just going to scratch in a little area back there, shadow area, where the grandstand meets the grass. And we're just doing a little separation there on the field from the grandstand. Maybe I'll put some white highlights down there too. Also, I want to show you, we're going to be using these brushes here. These are um, traditional brushes. Very unusual for me to be using these brushes here. But these are um, easy to pick up. They're basically all just little filberts and little liner brushes that you can get mostly at any art store if you want. And um, they're very cheap, but they're actually what we need to uh, paint. So let's get started. All right, so the first one I'm going to be using is the number six round um, in a brush. And I'm just going to be going into, well, first let's get a little color here. Let's get some of that French blue and some titanium white. Maybe just a little, little bit of um, alizarin crimson. When you mix alizarin with the blue, you get like almost a purplish color. All right. So what I'm going to be doing here is I got a nice blue going now. It's a nice blue. And I'm going to mix a few different tones. Now I'm going to mix white on this side. And I'm going to create that highlight of the blue color. All right. And then on this side here, I'll add more alizarin. And I'll create my shadow. All right. Can you see that on the palette? I've got my shadow, my, my, my blue color, my shadow blue color, and my highlight blue all mixed at once. OK. Now I'm going to go, first I'm going to go into my highlight color with that large round brush. That's a number six round, okay? So I'm going to go into that, going into the highlight color. Now I want to show you something up here before I start painting. When I did my drawing, what I did was I, I made sure I, I drew in the shadow area and the highlight area. See on the helmet? the shadow area on his neck, the highlight area on his face, the shadow area on the bat, and the highlight area on the bat. And I work from the top down, all right? This will prevent from overlapping and creating spoilages in between your shadows. OK, so now I'm going to, and when let's go to the palette for a minute. When I get the brush into the paint, I want to roll the brush, paint, and create this almost like point on the brush. OK, now I'm going to go up. And I'm going to paint the rim of the uh, helmet, like so. And then I'm just going to add a little shadow in between the rim and the top of the helmet to create that separation between the face. I'm going to go back into my highlight color and I'm going to come back. And see if I right that light area that passes there. So, and as you start to progress into the shadow area, I'm just going to pull that blue back. Now I'm going to go to my palette again. Let's clean the brush. Just 
quickly get a little thinner on there. Loosens up the paint a little bit. I'm going to go to my regular blue color, which is my medium tone or middle value, as some might call it. And I'm just going to go from the light area to the dark area. And I'm just kind of pulling the paint back on the helmet. So, all right, I'm going to go clean my brush again. I'm going to go to my palette, and I'm going to get that highlight color, which is almost, I mean, the shadow color, I'm sorry. It's almost like a purple color when you get the alizarin in there. All right, I'm back up. Let's see how dark it is. And remember, keep these transitions separate. Don't go over the colors that you use with the darker colors or your lighter colors or your darker colors because you're going to lose that transition of, and that shadow effect that you're getting on the helmet. Okay. You've got to keep rinsing your brush through these procedures too. You don't need, don't paint with a dirty brush. When you're doing foliage, when you're doing painting with foliage and stuff, you can use a dirty brush and you, it's kind of cool because those dirty colors will start mixing into the foliage and creating all these different little effects. But here we want a nice, crisp, clean transition from the highlight to the mid-tone to the darker tone. Okay? All right, next we're going to work on the highlight. I'm going to go to my palette, and I'm just going to take a little bit of white. And this is a quick highlight. It's just on the tip of the helmet and on the tip of the visor of the helmet. So, and now we're done with the helmet. Okay, I think we'll start with the back. And for that, we're going to have to mix a color. I'm just going to move that field green on the side. Okay, and the bat is cad yellow. Okay, and then we'll use a little Van Dyke brown to mix with that. And a little white. Just a little black to dull it down. Okay, now I'm going to clean my brush again. And now we just want to add a little bit of height on the front of the bat. We just use like that. Kind of like pull it from the side around, it gives it a rounded look. go out of line, you can always just take your thumb and pull the paint down a little bit. Okay, now we're going <coughs> to on the bat. For that, I'm just going to use straight Van Dyke. Okay. Okay. Just come straight down. Okay, that's looking good. I'm going to do a little flesh color. And for that, I'm going to use a little Van Dyke Brown, titanium white, and alizarin crimson. So that's titanium white, Van Dyke Brown, and alizarin crimson. black dulls so you can use it to black color down. Okay. Now for this I'm gonna go to a smaller brush. I'm using a number three wand. And I'm gonna go into my flesh color. You see on the palette. 
I'm just loading the brush, pulling it right in, in the paint. Okay. Go up to DiMaggio, and we're just going to paint in a little color there. Like so. Same thing, we're going to do that on the hand. Okay, now I'm just going to, with that smaller brush that I was using, I'm just going to go into a little brown, mix that with the darker, make a darker flesh color. That's going to be my shadow area. Okay, come up here, and then in behind the neck, and the helmet. And the ear is just straight Van Dyke brown. I'm kind of just put like a little shadow right there. Be under his helmet a little bit too. There's some shadow right there. Under the chin. Then of course in behind the helmet it's very dark. Alright, that's looking good. Maybe just a little more around it. Uniform. But this is little Those are no pinstripes. It's the kind of a white uniform there. It's actually gray. Like light gray. And then I'm just going to paint that in. Top of the shoulder. And around the base there. What do we got? Huh? Alright, that's about much time we have to actually go to different parts. Um, the number and stuff and, and then I'm going to be taking off the border and showing you how nice we can map this. Alright, so until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.